Hi, Tom Lynch, two things. Today I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Tony Rosenzweig, who's our Chief of Cardiology, and Dr. Gusa, who's currently a Cardiology Fellow at MJH. We're gonna talk a little bit about cardiology and why it's so important this week. Tell me a little about the Paul Dudley White celebration. So Paul Dudley White was the founder of the MJH Cardiology Division, but also the founding father of American Cardiology. And so this week we celebrated uh, 100 years of MGH cardiology because he founded the cardiology division 100 years ago this year. And Dr. Goose, as a young person thinking about the future of your career, the next 50 years of your career, why cardiology? Uh, one, I think it's tremendously fun. It's hugely, it's a huge field with a lot of breath. There's EP, there's heart failure, there's a lot to do in cardiology. And even on the general medical service, you see it in many different ways and different presentations. And so um, it's, a, it's a field that just has a lot to offer. And, and Tony, what are the things that we do best here at MGH in cardiology? What are the things as the chief of the unit, when you think that distinguish MGH cardiology, what are they? Well, so I think there's an enormous list of firsts, innovations, um, areas that we lead in, um, really across all of our sections from the electrophysiology uh, world to intervention, heart failure, and non-invasive imaging and cardiology. Uh, but really what I think is best are the people in cardiology, uh, the faculty and the fellows who really distinguish us, and so Wall is a great example of that. And, and you know, one of the things that's interesting about your career, if you think about it, uh, you, Tony, and I have all been influenced by, by people like Roman DeSanctis yeah. and the influence they've made on all of our careers yeah. as being great clinicians and great leaders. And a great example of that, when I attended the Paul Dudley White 100 celebration on Saturday night, yeah. to see the depth of what yeah. the MJH has in cardiology is really, truly remarkable. I guess one thing, what would you predict if you were doing this interview in 30 years? Yeah. What do you think you'll be asking the next cardiology fellow? Oh, that's, a, that's, that's a good question. Whew. What would I be asking the next cardiology fellow? Um, I mean, I, I just wonder if if, if heart disease will still be the number one killer in 30 years. Well, that's a very interesting point. I'm, as an oncologist, most of the statistics that we're given in the oncology world tell us that cancer will eclipse heart disease mm -hmm. in the mid-2020s as mm -hmm. the number one killer in the United States. That's a great point. I'm that's not sure point. that's a race you want to win. And I'm not sure that's a race you want to win, but I think yeah. both cardiology and oncology are benefiting tremendously yeah. from improvements in understanding the molecular basis of disease. And I think Absolutely. it's made a huge difference in both of our fields. Tony, Dr. Suffolk, thank you very much and congratulations on the 100th anniversary of cardiology at MGH. Thanks very much. Thank Tom. you very much.